<sighs> Those are the sounds after I drink half of a small coffee. Uh, uh, grande, I hate the terms. Like, just say large, medium. Why is it grande, venti? It's so stupid. I feel beneath a normal human being when I order coffee and say those terms, right? But regardless, today we're talking about Illuminati, right? I mentioned the poop thing because check this out. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. And you just thought you were going there to piss and then all of a sudden you're like, you know, shitting out Mona Lisa's arm. And you're like, I don't know what happened here, but here we are. But listen, all right, this video is gonna get pretty serious. So if you guys don't like serious videos, go somewhere else, dad. But today we're checking out uh, my boy Augie RFC. He, uh, <laughs> but, um, my boy Augie, check out the Red Fox Comms channel. Be sure to subscribe to that. He posted a video uh, about how Illuminati is a deranged psychopath, possibly an abuser, too, on top of all of the other things she's been doing. So I thought today we're going to investigate by checking out his video and talking over it. But, um, you know, it should be cool because, you know. Yesterday I mentioned that, you know, I don't want to milk the Illuminati topic too. Well, I do, Augie, I do, I do. I haven't milked it enough, right? Like everyone's like, oh, you milked too much. I haven't milked it enough because I've only ever made one video on this topic. So you can't come out for milking it, right, yet. If this video does well, um, expect another video right after it about the same person and I'll just make up shit. I mean, I'll uh, thoroughly investigate shit stuff extremity right but everybody was telling us they're like no 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 no, keep covering and in fact look into this situation yeah sorry let me introduce you to the character so this on the bottom left is augie rfc on the right is his boyfriend connor all right if you guys are homophobic just stop all right stop it now they have a beautiful thing going on okay just stop situation with blair's ex-boyfriend because what he has to tell is quite a lot and now this video is going to be a long one, guys. This yeah. is going to be a juicy Oh, don't worry, guys. My video will not be a long one. You see one today. It's going to be full of a lot of information. I mean, I don't even know how to summarize what we're about to get into because it's just so much. I mean, we've got yeah. confirmation of Blair's behavior, but also something really dark and sinister. Like, this video will get a little bit dark. I'm yeah. not going to lie, I'm guys. I'm so excited. I mean, we basically have confirmation at this point, you know, assuming that everything he's saying is true, of course. That Blair actually- Imagine this guy's just lying to hop on the dog pile. Also, he left Blair, and now, check top right, he has a new black woman. Now, the fact that I'm 23.1% comment litter box right now on this video, the fact that I'm 23.1% black, the fact that I'm 23.9% black, I almost forgot how much black I was, I'm really liking this, all right? I'm really liking this a lot. ...weaponized as suicidal people's- Oh my god, my Discord went off, guys. How embarrassing. First moments against them and has a history of doing this, right? Yeah. So you wonder why would Blair confidently post Wonderstruck's, you know, private information that he was gonna kill himself, his suicide letter, post all posting his suicide letter. Like what the fo dude, this Illuminati person, I learn new and new lore every single five seconds. All this sensitive information about Wonderstruck, like why would she do this? Well, maybe perhaps if you take a look at Blair's ex-boyfriend and some of the stuff that he has to say. Maybe this starts to make just a little bit more sense. Like yeah. I said, this could be a deep one. This could be a dark one. We did a lot of research on this story and, you know, the Illuminati stuff. It's not, it genuinely is not like we're just scraping the bottom of the barrel. To I mean, I am. That's, that's what I'm doing, dude. But look at Augie. He has the good facts and knowledge, right? Everyone go subscribe to the Red Fox comms channel. Really good content. It's, it's actually really good content. Uh, you guys need to check it out. Drop a like on the video. And uh, say in the comments that uh, like I sent you or something. But yeah, no, this guy he makes really good stuff. And I scrape bottoms of barrels, all right? But we're going to get into this part where uh, Blair's ex-boyfriend actually called into Augie's stream with a very disturbing revelation. Check it out. Abusive ex was controlling it all. But you want to know something crazy is that I actually had this guy on my show four years ago. Because you guys yeah. know... I've been doing YouTube now for like six, seven years or something like that. Four years ago, and I can't believe this escaped my memory, but four years ago, I had Blair's ex-boyfriend on because I used to cover Blair all the time. You guys think Blair- Dude, Augie used to literally cover his body with oil and then wrestle Blair in a mud pit. I saw it firsthand. It was gross. Blair only got into drama now? No, no, no. Blair's been getting into trouble for years now, and I've mentioned on some of these videos that I've had personal dealings with her and everything that she's been exposed for recently. Line Wait, what the fuck is this tweet? When Illuminati told me that as a stripper, she took clients into the champagne room and would threaten them with violence, 
uh, lie to bouncers about being molested and have them beat the person up. If they didn't give her more money, I should have been. That should have been the last red flag. Bro, what the fuck, bro? This person is insane. Lines up, and I wasn't kidding. Although I did forget having this guy on, and if you dude, this guy, why would he? Never mind. I'm not even gonna. You know what? Never mind. Get the tweet that spurred my attention. Dude, Illuminati. Like she, isn't she like 700 pounds? 2019. He's got quite a lot to say. Let's get let let's get into it. Right. So he tweeted back in 2019, and I covered this. When Illuminati told me that as a stripper, she took clients into the champagne room and would threaten them with violence, lie to the bouncers about being molested, and have them beat Jeez. and have them beat the person up if they didn't give her more money, should have been the last red flag. Now, many people that have been previous friends of Blair will confirm and. I mean, she was a stripper. I mean, yeah. she would talk. Dude, Augie went back to the champagne room, and dude, he got he he got beat up. But this openly, she would talk about it all the time. She even bragged that she had uh, previous previously done work in the porn industry. Right. Oh my God, never mind, bro. Augie did not know anything about that though. But he did. He did go to the the, the private room. <laughs> of her close friends, but as soon as back in 2019, anyone publicly brought it up, she got really, really kind of asked mad about it. She didn't like people publicly talking about it. But No, she would talk about it a lot, but as soon as she started getting more notoriety and attention as yeah. a Reddit channel, as a family-friendly channel... Yeah, she didn't want to be a part of that shit. All right, I'm trying to get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Uh, um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I put a cheese grater over my poop as it came out of my butthole to make poop mozzarella cheese and i'm gonna try it out tonight bro i think it's gonna be really good stuff dude i mean we had multiple conversations about her past activities we dated on and off for about three years so i i know pretty much there every this guy looks like my dentist everything there is to know at least i hope so you know in the in the course of this interview and you can go back and find the stream if you want to listen to it he never provides proof for this and i get it this is an outlandish claim and i mean even now i don't know if necessarily everything he's saying in this tweet is true but like i said before we've got a billion screenshots a billion to investigate that have all come out billion uh, even back then but also recently billion and people it's watching me poop dumpy stinky my life is going nowhere in a very, you know, devastating picture of the type of person Blair is. So just take this story with the grain of salt. It no, I'm taking the story at full face value, bro. Oh, he lives in Nevada. His family lives in Nevada. It's Nevada, bro. What? Interacting with a schizo doctor to intimidate her ex. Call should I'm be, not joking. This call should be being had, like, behind it. Sam, that they would make a call. But I'm doubtful. He says, I'm afraid I can't offer you my files. I stated it during the recording. And it's uh, a lot has been revealed so far, and it kind of goes. And when bro, where's the molestation? This person honestly needs to be stopped, bro. Like, I, I think that we need to put them in a straitjacket and push them down the steps. 